refrigerator, but somehow make a good ass meal. You know, so same thing with our living conditions. These Edomites, they they did they did that during the uh, the peak, the pandemic. Yeah. Well, look at the motherfuckers on Wall Street that jump out of buildings because they low they lose a few million. You know. Shit, Jake's they losing. Like, what we do? Damn, shit. Go to work, you know, trying to get some OT or something. Yeah. It says, they will no longer have to live in Egypt. I will use all my strength and power to bring them out of the land. I will bring disasters upon the Egyptians, as I did earlier. How do you know that they was pushing for the end of the Roman Empire? Because they kept asking the Lord, if you going to restore uh, the kingdom Now are right you going to restore the kingdom? In order for that to happen, Rome got to fall. A war got to happen. You know? So the Lord, hey, how are you going to take down the Roman Empire? You still have a whole other... So 
but hey, if, if you're from their perspective, from Esau's perspective, that's very radical. That's very uh, revolutionary. We're basically saying Yahweh Shah is going to come and put a stop to your new world order. He's going to come and put a stop to your 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 your, your ever growing uh, uh, the, uh, uh, your ever growing uh, desire. For everybody else, yeah. especially if you, if you pour this place, if you pour the beast, you're pro uh, uh, Babylon, America. You're pro. Uh, you're for this system. You're for uh, uh, the transhumanist agenda that they're pushing. If you're for it. When, when the day the Lord comes, there ain't gonna be no. Uh, 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 there ain't gonna be nothing good in it for you. Right. You're part of the you're part of the problem that the Lord's coming to address. I want to say from another perspective, if you're not for the Hallow Rise and Yahweh Shah, right. if you are anything but that, it, it ain't gonna be good for you. The Lord said whoever is not who's not a with me is against me. And if you're against the Yahweh Shah, you're an anti-Messiah. Hey, choose you this day who you gonna serve. And and, and that and that and that moment's gonna be very evident when the MOTB is uh, implemented. We gonna, we gonna really see what God you really serving at in that time. Second, that's just now where it says, uh, "Let the multitude there and perish." Yep. Where we're born, born in vain. Yep. That's the sinners of his people that he's gonna cut off. Yep. If they were blasphemers. They were deceivers. They were idolaters. They chose the beast over Yahweh uh, Shai. They, they trusted in the shadow of Egypt. They walked out of Egypt. They leaned upon a rod. <laughs> yep. They the broken reed and pierced them the hand. Oh, 
something, right? But this verse 10 is used to say, all the sin, you kind of quote it, all the sins of my people shall die by the sword, which says, evil shall not overtake nor permit us. So when these days come, you align yourself to anything but the, the spirit of Yahweh by the Son of God, you're going right to the judgment seat, you're going to judge the heart of Right along, and that's, I'm saying that because that's right along, in the, so just because you on the sign, don't mean you automatically gonna make it. Right. Because you on the sign, you have a higher responsibility. Right there. That's not If you're not, if you're not uh, aligning light, yourself with righteousness, light. you already yeah. in saying though like you gotta ask a christian you can ask any of these people like what makes you a christian what makes you this oh because i have god in me oh because that's god this like, it's gonna be a simple answer nobody got the answer that's all i'm saying what's the simple what's the simple exactly but that's but that's common sense that don't make i don't that's not gonna make us but who told you that but who wrote the bible let me tell you not everything in the Bible is true. Bro, do you, do, let, like listen, what? Listen, listen, listen. And whatever Wait, you feel, it's, it's up to you. No, 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 you made this. Let, let me ask you you got to go off your feelings, bro. Real quick. You want me to answer the question, but when I give you the answer, you're going to accept it? No, I, I, have to, I, I have to accept it, right? You don't. You don't. But I'm saying, if you ask, if you want me to answer the question, you can't before I finish the answer, ask another question that you don't think I can answer. When I ask that one, then you ask another one. Keep going. He That's saying, what you're creating the circle. He you said, don't want the end of the, of the race. He's saying, ask your question, saying, and then he's going to ask. All not. these people have been under the curse of that victory of the All these people need help from a Savior. The Bible describes our people to look like these people. The, the Lord is saying that the Lord is going to look like these people. Particularly with this guy. It's not the Jesus Christ, it's the Son. That's, that is the Son. The Heavenly Father didn't come down in the flesh as Christians would lie to you or not know that. We're not up here because we don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying you don't know. I mean, everybody, know. Nobody has the right answer. Nobody has the answer. We do. We do. But, but you don't have to accept it. That's up to you. It ain't nothing. It's up to the Heavenly Father. What's the answer? The answer is the Lord is coming to destroy America. For what? To rescue these people and bring them back to the rulership of the earth. I'm going to say he's going to destroy him. like he. He's going to destroy America, not the earth, but America. He's going to destroy certain people. That he's going to destroy the right. land mass. He's punish, he giving punishment to the same. Do you want the answer, or do you have the answer? No, you got the answer, right? I you don't, said you got the answer, right? But you're telling me what my answer is without listening to my answer. I'm going to what God's telling me. I'm going to speak to God's answer. We can, we can, and we can, everything I'm telling you, we can tell you about the no, it's not, not nothing that you have to look, do that. I get what you're saying. Like, if it fit with me, then I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to say look, that I can't respond. My, my thing was, my thing for you, though, is you won't hear my answer. You ask me a question. I'm listening to your you answer. You cut bro. my answers off before I can get to the end of it. No, I listen to what you're saying. That's why we're not answering it here for you, because you're not going to wait for the answer. Well, I, just, wait, I just got the answer, bro. I'm trying to, that's why I'm still sitting right here. I'm trying to get out of the same thing. I'm, I'm trying to 